Western North Carolina is one step closer to getting a state-of-the-art law enforcement training center. The center will be built if a deal is struck between Henderson County and the city of Asheville, and it's approved. News 13's Emma Wright is live in Henderson County. Emma, if this deal is approved, it will take the burden of building the center off taxpayers. It will. The Henderson County manager tells us the cost of the building will come from the sale of, of a piece of land. That land has been a bone of contention between Buncombe and Henderson counties for years. If things go according to plan, Henderson County will take control of 137 acres in Bent Creek. The land, which sits between I-26 and the French Broad River, was originally slated to be a shared services water and sewer plant between Buncombe and Henderson counties. From our standpoint, uh, there was a deal cut and we got the short end of the stick. There was to be a regional water and sewer authority formed and that didn't happen. The land is owned by the city of Asheville. Mayor Esther Manheimer tells News 13 they want to sell. So Henderson County is going to take possession of this property uh, for the purpose of selling the property. The market value on that I'm not sure about, but the tax value is about $1.85 million. Under the agreement, Henderson County and the city of Asheville will split the proceeds from the land sale and use the money to build a law enforcement training center. Last fall, I became aware of the Buncombe County need for a firing range, if you will, uh, approach them, and one thing led to the other. Henderson County Manager Steve Wyatt says the deal has been eight years in the making. Solving problems in local government sometimes are a lot like making sausage. If you saw it being made, you wouldn't want to eat it. But at the end of the day, he says it's a win-win. Everyone will benefit from more proficient law enforcement except the bad guys, and we don't care about them. Under the agreement, Henderson County has two years to sell the property. The deal won't be official until it's given the okay by Asheville City Council. They will vote on it at their meeting next week. Reporting live tonight in Hendersonville, I'm Emma Wright, News 13.